Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily vibes for uh, Monday, Tuesday, the twenty, the first, second, the first, second of October. So Monday, Tuesday, daily vibes. Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Grounded. Feeling very secure, stable. Ooh. And beautiful. So we have a lot of confidence here. Wow, first five cards are all upright. Yikes. There's an offer. There's an offer of love here. There is. Or there's a message. There's a there's a probably a welcome message. So you may have received or you're giving a message that's that's desirable. Maybe there's a new beginning here. There could be a new beginning. Because somebody, somebody is absolutely glowing by the looks of things. Looking real good. Somebody is looking real good. Feeling good, too. Looking and feeling good. Now let's see if we can mess it up. Um, yeah, things are feeling pretty good. I mean, things are harmonious. You know, going to a much better place. Beautiful, beautiful weather. It's like, yeah, it's nice. There's a, there's some sort of transition, okay? There's a release of some sort. Hmm. Well, like I said. Oh, okay, well, not too bad. So, I do think there's a new opportunity. There's a new opportunity for love here. You may be receiving a message or you have received a message that is very welcome and playful. You know, a playful message. There's probably an offer of, of uh, something that is making you feel really good. But, there's a discontent feeling about it. It's like... There's been an opportunity that has probably just ended, okay? Something has ended. And now you're not quite sure if you're if you're ready for love perhaps because it looks like I'm not. This is Yeah, yeah, I see that there's this is this could probably lead to something, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure if about commitment here. I'm not sure if I'm content to accept this offer. Yeah, somebody is is I mean this right here the page of coins reversed is oh loss of focus. This is loss of focus. Not really a, a, a grand plan, okay? There's no real plan. Now, this is introspection. And this is, I mean, the hermit, if you think about a hermit, a hermit is alone, right? They are alone. And this is like not really wanting a commitment. So I feel as though there's a... You're probably receiving some sort of message or there's a flirtation, you know, there's a flirtatious, there it is, there's a, like a flirtation here that is pretty prominent, a crush perhaps, you know, or, or a, yeah, a new, you got your eye on somebody or somebody's got their eye on you and um, 
you may, you know, be working on yourself, going through a period of reflection and healing and opening up. Maybe you're going through some sort of a spiritual renewal or, or something. And now there's somebody charging into your life, you know, you're feeling at peace and like things are get finally starting to calm down and all of a sudden somebody comes charging in with this, you know, these feelings or something, you know, these messages and you're like, oh no, oh no, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I'm ready to, you know, if I even want to do this, if I want, if I want to. Um, maybe you just ended something and you're going through some sort of transformation right now and therefore you don't, you're not ready to accept an opportunity even though somebody may be interested. So you may have a love interest that, you know, it's, it's, it's flirty, it's good, it's good, it's flirty, there's an attraction for sure and, you know, you may feel like, yeah, this is fun, it's fun, but I'm not sure, I'm not sure that I'm ready to accept this opportunity whatever it is i think that for a lot of you you're you're feeling very confident you're feeling very stable and secure um you're vibrating at a very high level especially if you're a woman you know if because we have these women right here that are vibrating very highly i mean they're right in their element um and if you put those two energies together i mean we're dealing with a woman that is really standing in her own power at this time and I feel like they probably there's there's really no plan to give up my this time that I have you know right now I'm working on me right now I'm working on myself you know I'm, I'm going through some period of enlightenment so you know this is great this is a nice fun attraction and all but you know um I'm not sure that I have the time, energy, or ambition to really get fully engaged. You know, I feel like somebody is probably not really wanting to go out and mingle and celebrate. You know what I mean? It's just like, I just am taking this time to, to reflect on me. You know, um, they may have been involved in a third party situation before, may have, I'm just saying, and now they're like, you know, I just know, I just need time alone. I need time alone. Now there's this right here is a major phase that is, that is completing in your life. It's a major completion. After you go through this period of introspection. So maybe that's why you're just like, eh, yeah, this is, uh, this is uh, something I definitely like to hear, but. I'm still completing. I'm still going through a period of completion because this is completion. Then we have the death, which, which is the new beginning. So there's an, there is an opportunity for a new beginning on the horizon. But I think for a lot of you, you're, you're, you don't really have the strength to get engaged because, you know, I'm still healing. I'm still working on me. And i got to complete this one phase before I, I get into a commitment. This phase needs to be completed first, okay? Um, interesting. So, oh, okay. So these are kind of like contradictions here, kind of in certain ways. Um, this is about replacing fear with faith, putting yourself in the driver's seat, facing the opposition, you know, steering in a different direction to make it work. So, and this is no, no, big. This is big transformation transformation and this is like a jesus consciousness it is so somebody is definitely going these are both cards of transformation they're going through a transformation and that takes energy it does it takes energy it takes a lot out of you when you're going through some sort of spiritual transformation so i feel like you know there may be a need to be more playful maybe you need to be able to give a little bit of energy to you know, flirt or whatever. And I think you are. I think there's some flirting, but I think that's all it is. It's like, I don't, I'm still mastering. I'm still working on mastering myself at this point. And I think you're headed in the right direction. And I think you're moving very quickly, but I don't think that you've completed that phase that you want to complete before you can get into commitment, whatever it is. So yeah, it's like, I'm not, I'm, you may be turning away 
from something that could be happy or or you maybe even decide that you want to move if you are in a relationship you maybe decide that you want to go in a different direction at this time because I'm no longer abundant here I mean I just have to throw that out there somebody is moving on from a situation that is no longer abundant I mean moving on from a situation that is no longer abundant no lo no longer wanting a commitment because it's it's brought them down or something like that so you could be that's for some of you. Some of you are moving out of a commitment because, you know, it's just, whatever. It's t it's taking you down. It's taking you down. Stolen your energy. Stolen your drive. Stolen your self-esteem. You know, the whole nine yards. Some of you, this has happened and you have turned into this. So, um... So I feel as though... There's an opportunity for what what's happening. There's not even an opportunity. Somebody is going through a period of release and transformation, and they and and they are really transforming. I mean, right, getting right back into their element, and even more so, you know, really high vibrational here, um, feeling really. I mean, a lot of self worth and self love and self everything here. It's like I feel good. Okay. Somebody, a woman, it's a woman, is feeling really good with where she's at. And now there's a new beginning coming as she real, as she gets to the other end of this transformation. So anyway, let me get back to the story here. There's an opportunity for a new beginning with the world card. There is. You may be receiving a message, but I think that you are reluctant to steer in that direction. Because right now you're working on yourself. But there is an opportunity. So I think somebody would like to probably get into a relationship or they want to flirt or they want to take you out on a date. And you may say, no, I don't want to go out on a date. Whatever. You may get it asked to go on a date. But I'm just saying. Anyway, um, it feels as though you may, you know, you may be called to replace your, your, oh, ain't that pretty. You may be um, called to replace your, your, your fear of commitment, you know, with faith. You may be, you know, but it feels like. You're not, I'm not sure that you're ready to add another person to this mix. Because it's like, I'm not sure I, I want this right now. Trying to avoid disaster. Trying to avoid any problems. Right now, I'm going through a transformation. I don't need these problems. I can't have this right now. So I think that's what's happening. I think that right now you guys are going through some sort of healing, transformation, grounding yourself, coming back to reality, building your confidence, building your self-worth and your self-esteem. You're feeling good. You're looking good. You're taking back. You, feel you have taken back your power. Somebody sees it. Somebody wants, somebody's flirting with you and they're probably sending you messages or whatever. And you're probably like, oh, this is fun, but... I'm not feeling quite ready. I'm not abundant yet. I'm not ready to start this new chapter with you because I need to complete this one first. You know? So, I feel like today is a day of You know, I think it's a day really of victory and success because that's where you're headed. You're headed towards victory and success by working on yourself. You're moving to a much better place and you're taking your time. You're doing it realistically. I mean, that's realistically. And I think that having no plan to commit or accept an offer of love is probably the most realistic approach. I don't know. That's what I think this is. That's what you need to be able to truly move on and step over that finish line before we, before I have my new beginning. The past truly needs to end with a death card. It needs to end. I need to be able to completely be able to step over that finish line completely. And I don't want to have any downfalls along the way. So right now I'm, I'm just being practical. Huh. Let me get 
another card. So yeah, I think that there's an offer. Okay, there's an offer perhaps to go out on a date or somebody's sending you little flirty messages or you're flirting with somebody and it's all fun and games, but falling in love probably isn't on the agenda at this point. You know, maybe it is in the in the future, okay, but it looks like right now you're you're it's a transformational. I'm working on me, you know. I think that somebody is coming in though. Somebody is charging right in with some there are with these two, with these two cards. Somebody something is happening. Something is happening. And it could lead to a in the future, this this little start of a whatever it is could lead to a new beginning. It could. With with this card and this card and I mean you could definitely end up in some some kind of new beginning with whatever this crush is. It it could turn out because these are both cards of victory and success. But right now I think it's just not I think it could be the first communication maybe or the very beginning of the communication that leads to you accepting this offer it could be the very beginning of it. it could be you know the first words or the first text or the first eye contact or something like that could happen today listen you have to be willing to listen if you want to really understand someone. Now is not the time to be offering advice, but to be a compassionate listener. To listen fully and intently means to pay attention, not just to what's being said, but to what lies beneath the words. So you're just being called to listen. And this is great advice. It really is. So yeah. It's a time of, of, of really reflection on, on not only yourself, but on this situation. Look beyond the words. Look beyond the words. Interesting. So yeah, that's what I have today. Um, the first, first to the second. Talk to you tomorrow.